Welcome to a work from home day. It's Tuesday, it's eight o'clock. Matt is currently out of spin. He's gonna be back. I'm I'm unexpectedly working from home today because I have just gotten my period and I think I have some sort of eye infection. I'm not gonna zoom you in too close. Basically, I've got a really crusty eye and it's pretty gross. So I kind of thought today would be a good day to work from home. I've had a shower, I've done my makeup. I'm feeling quite good. It's just when that period hits, it just zaps all my energy. I'm so tired. Um, I'm currently boiling the kettle for a hot water bottle, of course. I'm gonna make myself coffee and then I need to get to work because it's like work day two for me. It's a really busy day. I'll probably make some breakfast in a minute and then chat to you guys at lunchtime. Matt's just home from m and and he has picked up some really nice bits for us today. Just to let you all know, we don't actually shop at m and every single day. It's just a little treat for us. I think in London, when you're spending so much money on everything, it's easy just to go, oh, fuck it, it doesn't matter. It's just a little five pounds here and there spent at m and but it does bring us a lot of happiness. So anyway, we have got some lettuces. These are for our sandwiches today, I think. Are they? Um, for lunch, for your oh, you got past the meal. Okay, these are for my sandwich today for lunch. I think I'm gonna do ham and cheese, or maybe even a toasty. Let's see. A little thing of broccoli for dinner. A sweet little tiny miniature loaf of bread, but that'll be nice. And then for dinner, these look really good to be fair. Uh, cheese sauce and parsley crumb, breadcrumb cod fillets, which I think will be really nice with the broccoli. And it, what else are we gonna have with that? We're we thinking. Nice. Some Chips. potatoes, maybe some potatoes, because I've got some potatoes yeah. up in the cupboard. Then we have a chicken arabiata for Matt's lunch. This is your favourite one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We love these little m and I think you get three for seven. I think it used to be like three it's for nine. It's three for nine now. Yeah. Three for nine? Yeah. <gasps> That's insane. Anyway, they're really good. I really like the sausage pasta one. And then finally, the best orange juice. Freshly squeezed, best of season. We've squeezed, squeezed 12 oranges in here, apparently. So I'm going to put these away quickly and then get back to work because it's almost nine o'clock and I need to get on with work. I also have a really exciting package coming later today that I really need honest opinions on whether to send these back or not. Let's see if they arrive actually first. It's quarter past one. No, it's quarter past 12 now. <laughs> I am gonna have a bit of lunch because I'm really hungry. I'm thinking to do my leftover tart that I made the other day, which is just like, I bought the wrong pastry. So it's short crust pastry and it's a little bit burnt. I'll show you in a second. With some veggies on top and I've got some feta and some chicken in the fridge that I'm gonna like sprinkle on top, warm it up. I'm already salivating because it sounds yummy. And I'm gonna have it with some salad. So I think that will be a nice enough lunch. And then I think I'll have a cup of tea and a bit of Toblerone later because I'm still making my way through the Toblerone that we got on our ski trip. So these are my ingredients. I'm thinking cut up some tomato. This is like a big beef tomato I got in M&S. Got some cucumber, avocado, some hummus, salad, and then some of this rotisserie chicken. And I think I'll just whack it all together. This is the tart in here. So I will show you the finished product in a second. I've had a really busy morning of work, had a few calls. It's been a good day. I feel like I've been really productive and getting stuff done. Matt's got football tonight, so I've actually got the evening to myself. So I think I'll just chill, do some washing. I like urgently need to do washing. Part of me also thinks that this sore eye of mine could be from some, I don't know, pillowcases that need washed or something like that. So I'm gonna do a load of chores tonight, which it's fine. 
I also want to tan my body because I feel like I'm so pale at the minute. I put a bit of tan on my face and I feel better already. So I think I'm going to put a bit of tan on the rest of my body just so I'm a bit more cohesive. <laughs> I also want to start watching Alice and Jack tonight. I've heard really good things about that show. It's meant to be very similar to One Day. One of the girls at the book club that I went to it's not book club, it was actually just like a dinner with some of the girls from the book club. One of those girls actually mentioned that Alice and Jack is meant to be even more emotional than one day. So I'm thinking I should get into that as well because I love a good cry, especially around my period. <laughs> So whilst I'm waiting on lunch cooking, my package has just arrived with my new purchase and I thought I would show you. Okay, so they're from Nike. I'm gonna just open them right now. I don't know how well you can see me. Oh, they don't even come in a shoe box anymore. These are so Marmite. They are a little bit crazy. <laughs> they are called the Nike Air Soles. So this is what they look like. Oh, you're not meant to put new shoes on the table. Um, they are like open on the top. I saw a girl on the tube wearing these and she looked so cool. She had on like red socks with them and I thought they just looked really cool. They're obviously tabby vibes with the toe. Um, but yeah, they've got a proper sole, which is good because I think a few people I've shown them to think that they're like one of those like shoe soleless shoes. They've got this little feature on the back. I love the green, I love the red and the black together. I'll need to style them with a pair of jeans after lunch, but these are the shoes. First impressions, please let me know what you think. I think they're really cool. Well, the girl who I saw wearing them looked really cool. Let's see if I can actually pull them off. But yeah, this is what they look like. They were, seven, they were 110 pounds and then they were reduced to 76. So when I saw them, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get them. Very East London, I would say. That stitching looks a bit weird. The back. Oh, lovely. <laughs> what have you done about that? <laughs> you can do it yourself. Yeah, I know. But... This is Matt's lunch. Oh. He's not very happy with my presentation. Mm -hmm. This is what I have. I was in a rush to show because look at the state of this. This looks worse. My tart has disintegrated and it's not fared very well. This is just like pesto and it's gone black somehow. What's happened to it? I don't know, I think it just took a funny turn in the oven. Yeah, this is lunch, that's the chicken on top. I used the wrong pastry and this is what's caused all of this. Next time I'll do puff pastry, but anyway, it still looks good. I don't mind eating burnt things. I'm gonna do a little taste test with you, even though I know what it tastes like, because <laughs> I've had it for lunch already this week. It tastes bloody good. I actually put lots of seeds and stuff on this, like fennel seeds, herbs, everything. Mm. That is really good. My whole motto with eating healthy is just to eat the things, eat the healthy things, but add cheese and things that you like to it. I have a bit of a sticker on my tomato still that I need to get off. Hang on. So we are going to go and enjoy lunch and watch some TV. And I will talk to you later. Okay. I'm just trying on the shoes with a pair of trousers and I actually think they're pretty cool. Let me prop you up and show you. These are just wide leg Adenola trousers and I don't have any socks on with them, but I think they're really cool. Just with the like flash of green. It's a bit weird having your toes separated, but I think they're trendy. So I think I might actually keep them. They feel really, really comfy as well. Also, fully aware that these Adenola trousers aren't quite long enough for me, but they're so comfy. I actually might keep them on for the rest of the day so I'm not in my sweatpants the whole day. Anyway, I've just made my cup of tea and sadly it's time to get back to work. I've got loads to finish off today, so I'm gonna enjoy this and I'm gonna get my tober on. I love a dessert. Ever since me and Matt have moved in together, I'm so used to having a dessert with every meal. And I'm making my way through this whole total group. Actually, it's pretty. Empty. Oh my god, I might be on the last triangle. No, second last triangle. That's all that's left. 
of it. Maybe I'll go for two. Do you want one, Matt? A Toblerone sure. triangle? If you don't want it. I don't want it. You can have it. We also are loving the chili nuts. They're really good. The ones I got from M&S the other day. So I have just finished up work for the day. I feel like I've just been head and computer for the whole afternoon. It's been really busy. It's 10 past six. Our clock on the walls actually stopped working. It now looks like it's quarter to eight, but it, it hasn't worked since this morning. And it actually was broken yesterday as well. We are having the fish for dinner later tonight, but Matt won't get home until about quarter to nine. So I'm gonna basically be really productive between now and then. I have a lot of dishes to do. I've put a load of washing on. I'm gonna like clean down all the surfaces, like do a proper clean. I need to throw out some more dead flowers. I actually chucked out, these need to go. I also chucked out the Valentine's ones that Matt kindly got me on Valentine's day. They lasted so well. This is like two weeks later and well, it's more than two weeks later. And yeah, they finally met their demise today. So they've gone in the bin. He's taken the bins out with him, so they're all done. But I just need to like properly clean everything, put all our coats and bags and shoes away. You see, all of this stuff needs to go away. I need to clean the cooker here, like look at all those little drip marks on the oven. I just need to do all those little bits. And also this mound of dishes, wait till you see this. What a lovely sight to be waiting for me finishing work. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna watch Married at First Sight because it's back and I'm so happy. I've watched a few episodes of it and it's so, so far so good. Really enjoying it. People are all nuts as per usual with the Australian versions. They're always, I think they are just given alcohol. They're always a little bit more fun and yeah, alcohol fueled. So it makes for good TV. <laughs> the oven on ready for the fish to go in i thought i would cut up some little cubes of potatoes and chat to you while i'm doing it because i'm gonna chuck these in the oven with the fish wow this is the fish before it goes in it looks so yummy m and just do the best food ever like honestly i absolutely adore everything they make they're definitely my favorite supermarket love them we have just booked some tickets to go and see june 2 at the cinema which is gonna be interesting. June 1 was not one of my favorite movies, but there's so much hype around these movies that I'm literally like, okay, surely I'm gonna like this one. I just really can't get on board with the whole like desert worms and stuff. I'm kind of like, is this... I like things to be like, have a, a thread of realism to them somewhere. I also haven't told you about when we, what we got up to last week. We went to some amazing shows. So me and Two of my really good work friends, Katie and Nina, went to go and see Plaza Suite, which was absolutely incredible. It had Sarah Jessica Parker in it at the Savoy Theatre. And any time I go to the Savoy Theatre, I'm literally like, this place is so gorgeous. Like, the theatre itself is so old and beautiful and grand. And we actually treated ourselves to a gorgeous bottle of champagne while we were in there. We thought, fuck it. Because basically one of our friends, Katie, has actually moved away to Dublin. So she came over to see us like for the occasion. And like we thought, let's just have a bougie time of it. So we got a nice bottle of champagne, watched the show, which seeing Sarah Jessica Parker in real life was just incredible. Like she's such a good actor. I just felt like we were watching her on TV. She was just so good. And she had like a couple of cool, like really amazing outfits. Um, in one scene, she plays like a mother, the mother of the bride. She's wearing a big hat and like amazing dress and some amazing shoes. And it was just really good. Um, and then we also went out for an amazing meal to a restaurant called Wild by Tart, 
which was really, really good. Like, highly recommend that restaurant. It's in Victoria in Eccleston Yard and it's got really cool lighting. Like, it's just very vibey in there. And the food was nice. It was small plates to share. Lots of veggie options. I think lots of vegan options as well. And yeah, it was just really, really yummy. And then on Friday just past, me and Matt went to see Cirque du Soleil, which was so, so good. That was at the Royal Albert Hall. I'm actually going to the Royal Albert Hall again this week. I I never have plans like this. Like this is just a total one-off week for me where it was just so busy. I had so much on all at the same time, but it was like honestly one of the best weeks ever. Like Cirque du Soleil, the acrobats are just like I could watch circus shows forever. I'm like when I was younger and my birthday was all well, my birthday is always in August every year, obviously. Um, but it was always the time when the carnival was in town at my hometown in Dundee in Scotland. Sorry, my phone actually cut out while I was filming there, but I don't have time to stop and continue the conversation because I need to get this dinner on. It's almost nine o'clock. I was basically saying that. I used to go to the circus every year with my family because the circus was in town around the time of my birthday and it's such nostalgic memories for me and yeah, I just had a really good time at Cirque du Soleil, it was incredible, um, would highly recommend and I kind of want to make a tradition of going anytime I can because it was just insane to watch, like I've never had my eyes so fixated on a show before, like Obviously, Plaza Suite was incredible, would highly recommend. But like, <laughs> those circus actors are, or the circus performers are like gymnasts. Like, they were so incredible. So, would highly recommend if anybody is thinking about going, don't delay. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna continue cutting up this garlic. I've just put the potatoes in the oven and I put the fish in. I put some rosemary and oregano onto the potatoes and some olive oil and I'm gonna just put some garlic, crushed some garlic on. But I didn't wanna put it on too early because in my experience, garlic always burns. So I'm gonna put it on probably like in 10 minutes and I need to cook the broccoli, but I'm just gonna boil that. So I'll show you the finished product, but I really need to get my act together because yeah, we're running out of time. It's like almost bedtime. So yeah, BRB. Okay, dinner is ready. We have our little potatoes, the fish and the broccoli. The potatoes were a bit of a fiasco. It took a while to get them crispy, but I think we got there. They look crispy. Do you think they look good? I think they look great. Matt's just back from his footy. He's got this portion. I've tried to give you the bigger bit of fish, but... You don't get a lot of fish, do <laughs> There's you? There's not a lot, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do a little taste test because I love doing a taste test. I'm using the wrong hand to eat with, but that's fine. I'm just doing this quickly and then I'm gonna get sorted. Here we go. Oh my God, wow. M&S food is the best. Good. Yeah, it's like really cheesy and really yummy. Cheesy? It's a cheesy- Do you want cheese? Yes. This is Matt's favorite thing. Do you not want thing. any sauce on your potatoes? No, because there's garlic, rosemary, and oregano on oh, them. Oh my God. So Matt puts sriracha on absolutely everything. Needs some QP, that's what we're missing. This doesn't go with QP. QP doesn't go with cod and cheesy baked cod. Mayo and cheese. Mm. Mm. Mayo and cheese does go, but not this. So we're gonna go and enjoy. Actually, quick taste test for you, come on. What do you think? Mm. Delicious. Potato's really good. Cooked by yours truly. Anyway, we are gonna enjoy our dinner and watch some Trigger Point. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next video shortly. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>